Number two, here we go. Hi, welcome to the American Bandstand Grill. You know, it's amazing over the years people think of bandstand and music. Obviously, we've had 10,000 different musical performances on that show, but we also had a lot of comedy. Years and years ago, we had uh, Jerry Lewis join us as the first comedian, followed, I think, by the granddaddy of them all, George Burns. Uh, George Carlin came aboard, Martin Mull. We had David Spade, Lois Bromfield, uh, David Brenner, Don Marrera, Rip Taylor, a host of great comedians. And tonight, our premiere performance is, is going to be something you'll really enjoy. This man is a comedian and an actor who uh, is starring currently with Tom Arnold in a carpool. He's been on MTV, Showtime, The Roseanne Show. He has his own particular brand of comedy, sort of out of bounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Wild Bill Bauer. Mark, I thought he was funny. I just came back from a family get-together. My family are heavy drinkers. I think the heaviest is my Uncle Ernie. Ernie drinks like a pig. Of course, Ernie's under a lot of pressure. At one time, he was the number two ranked Russian roulette player in the United States. <laughs> We're at the finals of the United States Russian Roulette Open. I'm Brett Mustringer here to narrate the action. We're coming to you live, for now. Our two finalists, Arnie Bauer from Anoka, Minnesota, Crazy Joe Clemens from Tobacco Road. Our finalists are leaving the practice area. <laughs> Up to the table, coin toss in the air. Crazy Joe wins, has decided to go first. <laughs> Gutsy move. Crazy Joe, the only veteran in the field. Last year's Rookie of the Year. <laughs> Up to the table, picks up the pistol, spins the chamber's gun to his head. Click, click, somebody stop him, click. <laughs> that crazy Joe, what a competitor. <laughs> he came here to play. <laughs> like to thank our sponsor, the National Rifle Association. And this match is moving right along. I don't think I have to remind anyone this is sudden death. Here comes Arnie. Arnie just came off the disabled list. He's regained almost full use of his left side. He'll be playing right-handed today. He's walking up to the table now. Step drag. <laughs> Step drag, stumble drool. <laughs> now he's ready, picks up the pistol, spins the chamber's gun to his head. Oh, 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 he's asked for a timeout. <laughs> I can't say that I blame him. They're playing for over $500. <laughs> it's winner take all. <laughs> Loser actually goes into the hole on this one. <laughs> now he's ready. He picks up the pistol, spins the chamber's gun to his head. Oh, 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 he's asked for their timeout. If Arnie's not careful, Crazy Joe's gonna get a penalty shot. <laughs> Let's take a second here and check our scoreboard while Arnie's changing his pants. <laughs> Now he's ready, picks up the pistol, spins the chamber's gun to his head. Bang! Thud. He's struggling to his foot. <laughs> we have a winner. <laughs> that was a depressing funeral. Happened on a Thursday, they shipped the body home. Night before the funeral, I gotta go to the mortuary with my aunt just to make sure everything's okay. They bring us downstairs where they keep all the bodies. Right off the bat, my aunt's got a problem. I wanted him buried in a blue suit. You've got him in a brown suit. I wanted him buried in a blue suit. Mortician's driving nice, goes, that's okay, ma'am, we'll take care of it for you right now. Ed, Ed, switch the heads on two and four. <laughs> I 
think some of us have a little bit of difficulty laughing about death, dying, and funerals. I think everyone is forgetting that the first three letters of funeral spell fun. <laughs> and if you unscramble the letters in funeral, it spells real fun. <laughs> Go ahead, get on a piece of paper and a pencil. <laughs> when I was down in Louisville, I had to stop the show for an hour. <laughs> At my own funeral, I didn't have a good time. For starters, I think I'll just have myself partially cremated. I know what you're thinking. It's another one of my half-baked ideas. <laughs> Maybe what I'll do is I'll just have myself taken to a taxidermist and stuffed. My only worry there is 50 years down the road, my descendants wouldn't be taking such good care of me. Well, the dog dragged him all over the neighborhood again today. <laughs> what do you want me to do, sweetheart? It's my great-great-grandfather. Put him out of the garage sale. Maybe we can get a couple bucks for him. <laughs> That's got to be everyone's nightmare. Dead, nude, laying out on some card table with a $2 price tag stuck to your forehead. <laughs> Ain't there any clothes that come with the dummy? Don't pick him up by that. <laughs> Can't you see the dogs almost chewed it off? <laughs> the only ones who know how to have a good time at a funeral, my people, Irish Catholics. Always happens the same way, the phone call in the middle of the night. Uncle Joe is dead. Let's party down. <laughs> I've got his American Express card. <laughs> no, he's expired. The card is fine. <laughs> Oh, he'll leave home without it. <laughs> then there's the Irish Catholic wake. Drink all day, drink all night. My entire family is playing hide the hooch for my Uncle Leo. Because he's an alcoholic. And they're not. <laughs> you can always find my Uncle Leo in the middle of the living room having a nicotine fit. <laughs> Doesn't anybody smoke monkeys anymore? <laughs> no, Leo, you smoke them all. <laughs> you guys have been wonderful. I'm Wild Bill Bauer. Thank you.